Once upon a time, in a small village nestled in the mountains, there lived a young boy named Hiro. Hiro was known for his restless mind, constantly filled with thoughts and worries about the past and the future. He longed for peace and serenity, but his mind was like a turbulent storm, always churning with thoughts and distractions. One day, Hiro heard tales of a wise Zen master who resided in a distant monastery. The master was said to possess a profound ability to empty the mind and find inner peace. Filled with hope, Hiro embarked on a journey to meet the Zen master, hoping to learn the art of stillness and silence. After days of arduous travel, Hiro finally arrived at the monastery. The Zen master, a gentle and serene man, welcomed Hiro with a warm smile. Sensing the restlessness within the young boy, the master decided to teach him the path to an empty mind. They began their journey early the next morning, walking through dense forests and along winding paths. Hiro struggled to keep pace with the master's calm and measured steps. His mind continued to wander, filled with thoughts of the past and worries about the future. As they reached the top of a mountain, the master stopped and gestured toward the breathtaking vista spread out before them. Look, Hiro, he said softly. Observe the beauty of this moment. Let go of your thoughts and simply be present. Hiro tried to follow the master's instructions, but his mind resisted. He found himself caught up in the grandeur of the landscape, unable to let go of his thoughts and immerse himself in the present. The master smiled gently and said, Hiro, the key to emptying your mind is not to fight your thoughts or forcefully suppress them. Instead, embrace them with acceptance and let them pass through you, just like clouds passing through the sky. Hiro listened intently, absorbing the wisdom of the master's words. They continued their journey, and with each step, Hiro made a conscious effort to observe his thoughts without judgment. He noticed the constant stream of worries, regrets, and desires that flowed through his mind, but he didn't cling to them. He allowed them to come and go, like waves washing upon the shore. Days turned into weeks, and Hiro practiced diligently under the guidance of the Zen master. They meditated in silence, practiced mindful walking, and engaged in contemplative conversations. Slowly but surely, Hiro's mind began to settle and a deep sense of peace started to envelop him. One evening, as they sat beneath a starlit sky, Hiro turned to the master and asked, Master, I have come a long way in my journey toward an empty mind, but I still find it challenging at times. How can I overcome the lingering restlessness? The master chuckled softly and replied, Restlessness is a part of being human, Hiro. It is the nature of the mind to wander. The key lies not in trying to eliminate restlessness but in accepting it as a passing visitor. When you let go of the need to control and change your thoughts, you will find that true stillness arises naturally. Ira reflected on the master's words, and suddenly, it was as if a weight had been lifted from his shoulders. He realized that the journey toward an empty mind was not about eradicating thoughts but about cultivating a sense of non-attachment and acceptance. Months passed, and Hiro continued to deepen his practice. With each passing day, his mind grew quieter, and the present moment became his refuge. He discovered a profound sense of connection with the world around him, a connection that extended beyond his thoughts and into the very essence of his being. One day, Hiro stood at the edge of a tranquil lake, the water mirroring the stillness within him. He smiled as he realized that his once turbulent mind had transformed into a serene oasis. In that moment, he understood that the true power of an empty mind lay not in its vacancy but in its ability to embrace the fullness of life with clarity and compassion. From that day forward, Hiro became a beacon of peace and tranquility in his village. People would often seek his counsel, and he would share the teachings he had learned from the Zen master. His presence and words inspired others to embark on their own journeys toward an empty mind. And so, the story of Hiro serves as a reminder that amidst the chaos and noise of the world, we all have the capacity to find stillness and peace within. 
by embracing our thoughts without clinging to them. We can cultivate an empty mind, a mind that is open, expansive, and ready to embrace the beauty of each moment. This is God of Motive. Thanks for watching and stay focused.